Hello everyone. Now, in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 51 of GATE DA24 exam, right? Now, this question is based on directed acyclic graph. Now, what is directed acyclic graph and what is topological sorting? We already discussed in the previous uh, videos, right? Now, let's try to discuss this particular question, right? So, in the case of directed acyclic graph and topological sorting, we always look for the vertex, vertex having in degree zero first. Okay, in degree vertex must be zero. Okay, so vertex having in degree zero first. Okay, now what is in degree? The number of edges incident to a particular node. For example, I have this particular vertex V, and this edge is going away from this vertex. This edge is incoming to this particular vertex and again for example this is going away from the vertex. So total degree of this particular vertex is number of incidence edges. So 1, 2, 3. Number of edges coming in or out of this particular vertex that is basically degree. So total degree of this particular vertex is 3. Now what about in degree? So number of incoming arrows or the number of incoming edges to this particular vertex v is basically in degree so here only one edge is coming so that is basically in degree is one what about out degree number of edges going out of this particular vertex that is for example this and this is basically out degree so here two edges are there right so out degree will be two now in the case of topological sorting we need to start with the vertex having in degree zero so, if you consider out of all these vertices, only vertex P and R is having in degree 0. So, either I can start with vertex P or I can start with vertex R. Okay. So, let's start with vertex P because there can be multiple topological sorting. Okay. So, if I start from vertex P, so first I will go to this particular vertex P. Okay. So, P I have added here. Now, I will uh, remove this particular thing. Okay, from the graph. Now, from the remaining graph, so which vertex is having in degree 0? R, right? After P, only R is there having in degree 0. So, after that, after P, R will be there, right? Now, if I remove this R, what will, the, what will be the remaining vertices? Q, S, V, U, T. Now, out of this, which vertex is having in degree 0? Again, Q, because we already removed P and R. So, these edges are also removed. So, for Q, out degree we have 2, but in degree is 0 because there are no incoming edges to this particular vertex Q, right? So, after this, I can go for Q. So, after this, I can go for Q like this, right? Now, I have removed Q also. So, I will remove all the edges coming out of the Q. So, I have removed this one, okay? Now, I have two vertices having vertex in degree 0 that is S and V. I can go for any of the vertices. Let's say for example, I will go for S. So, after Q, I will go for S. Okay. Again, I have removed this. Again, I have these two vertices having in degree 0. So, after S, I can go for U also. Right. After removing U, I have these two remaining. So, after U, I can only go for V. So, that is V. And then only last node is basically T. Okay. So, this will be one of the topological uh, sorting. P, R, Q, S, U, V, T. And multiple is possible. Let's see whether we have this thing in the option or not. P, Q, R. So, anyway, P, Q, R. So, if you observe, Q cannot come before R. Because there is incoming arrow from R. So, anyway, this option is not correct. So, P, R, Q must be there or either the PRQ must be there or RPQ must be there, okay. Q can come only after P and R, okay. So, PRQ, okay. Now, here PQR, so Q cannot come before R, so remove this also. Now, what about option B and D? In the case of B and D, here you can see PQR, S, U, V, T, right. And if you observe here, first I am going for P, then I am going for R, then I am going for Q. After Q, I can also go for S or V. In this case, I have gone for S, right? Again, I am going for S here. Now, after S, I have gone for U in this case. 
Now, but I can go for V also. So after S, I will go for V also. Now after V, I can go for U or T. So I can go for U or V or T anyway, right? So after V, I can go for U or T like this, right? So this is topological sorting. This is topological sorting. Also, if you observe in this case, P, R, Q, S, uh, V, I have two options. I can go for U or I can go for T. I have gone for U. I can also go for same thing. You, instead of you, I can go for T also and then I can go for U, right? Now, if you observe here, this particular option number D, P, R, Q, S, V, T, U. So, this particular thing is satisfied. So, option D is correct here. What about option B? P, R, Q, V, S. P, R, Q, S, V is there, right? But if you observe, first I can go for P, then I can go for R and then I, will, I am going for Q. And after Q, I have two options, either S or V, right? So after Q, I can go for S or V. So in this case, I have gone for S, but here I am I can go for V also like this, right? So here I have gone for V, right? Now I have two choices. I can go for S or I can go for T. Let's say I am going for S, then S again. So again, after going for S, I have I am I left with U and T because both the Vertex is having in degree 0. So either I can go for U or I can go, go or either I can go for T, right? Like this, right? And if you observe this P, R, Q, V, S, U, T is one of the option. So this V and D are the correct one here, right? And there can be multiple topological sorting here. So P, R, Q, V, S, U, T is one of the one of uh, sorting. Now P, R, Q, then V, then S. Now both are having one in degree one. So I can write T first and then U first. This is also correct, but this is not there in the option, right? Again, P, R, Q, now Q. Now here S or V. Let's again going for V. Now again, I have two options, S and T. But in this case, I'm going for T again. So this is T. And then I have left it only S having in degree 0. So then S and then U. So this is also topological sorting correct. Right. So this, 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 this one and this one and this one is possible. Also in all these cases, if I exchange P and R, that will be also topological sorting. Okay. So tell me for the same graph, how many, how many topological sorting is possible for this graph okay topological sorting are possible okay so here i have just discussed one two three four five six but you have to take example for just exchange p and r and in this case also you can uh, give for different combinations so just keep one point i can go for vertex that is having in degree zero right so here i have started with p but i can start with r also right so multiple topological sorting are possible. So tell me for this particular graph, how many topological sorting are possible? Okay. So just comment below. I hope you understand how we are going to solve this type of question. So again, you can expect this question for two marks in next year also. Very important topic, a great exam point of view. Okay. Because this in this in this type of question, we can frame MSQ type of question. Okay. Multiple options can be correct here. So here B and D are the correct one. Okay. In the gate exam, you can directly look at the option. You can eliminate that. I know that Q cannot come before P and R, right? So I will directly eliminate A and C. Now I left with B and D. First go for B, P, R, Q. Yes, P, R, Q. Then after, then after that, if I remove this C node, S and V is there. So I can go for V or I can go for S. So V, then after V, I can go for S. That is fine. After this, I can go for uh, U, yes, and then I can go for T. So this is correct one. What about the option number D? P, R, Q, that is fine. After Q, I can go for S or I can go for V. So first I'm going for S, then I'm going for V, right? And then we have T and then we have U, right? So all this uh, sequence are possible, okay? 
so i hope you understand this topological sorting and how we got this option b and d you can solve this question within one minute if you have enough uh, practice for this type of questions okay so practice more you can easily solve this question within a minute okay so that's about this particular uh, question i hope you understand the solution and tell me the answer for this particular thing how many topological sorting are possible thank you